hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is joyce as we all know a wife a mom and a dear 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 sister welcome and for aquaba what about tenacity I am going to share with you quick something about transabdominal cartilage or TAC, as we all know. What is transabdominal cartilage? It says transabdominal cartilage is a small, extremely strong woven synthetic band stitched high on the cervix, and this band supports and resists the pressure the growing fetus places on it. The band prevents the cervix from opening and losing the pregnancy. Another definition says that transabdominal cartilage is a highly effective surgical treatment for incompetent cervix. With the condition, the cervix is too weak to carry a full-term pregnancy, often leading to miscarriage in the second trimester. No. Uh, the day I found out that there is something like this, <laughs> I prayed so hard, Lord, let this be in other countries to save women from miscarriage. Oh my goodness. To save women from miscarriage. I'll share with you more about uh, my journey through transabdominal cartilage. But to begin with, uh, that one will be later. But today, let's talk more about the tack itself, you know. To begin with, your sister, or I am not a doctor, I am not a nurse, I am not a physician, I'm, I'm not a gynae, I'm not a midwife, nothing of that sort. All I'm sharing with you is just experiences, okay? My own experience that I'm sharing with you, experiences that I'm sharing with you, and it's just for educational purposes only, nothing else. Educational purposes only. Okay, so uh, when do we have this surgery or the transabdominal cartilage? When do we have that surgery? It's when uh, maybe your doctor have done ultrasound and found out that maybe your cervix is weak, you know, or there is something wrong about your cervix. I think that's when we have the tack. Or when you have a lot of miscarriages, we've tried all you tried all the three or four types of secular you have the cervical cartilage, all those things and it doesn't work you know that is when i think the tack comes in to me i know we we have to find it on ultrasound right but for me nothing happened we we did a lot oh my goodness multiple ultrasounds but nothing was shown my service was always intact it wasn't shortened nothing was wrong with it you know so my major uh, symptom of weak service was that uh when i'm miscarrying we know miscarriage is painful but uh, to me when i'm miscarrying i i never felt any pain so anytime i go to the hospital i was telling them there is no pain there is no pain because for one or two i have seen women going through miscarriage and it's very painful they, they even said it's more painful than even giving birth but hey <laughs> i never felt nothing there was nothing there was no pain so i kept on telling them there is no pain i don't feel any pain but uh my doctors were good but i think maybe because they you know doctors they have to know it is there before you know but the weak service the the weak service the major symptom of the weak service is the highest i think is not having the pain see it's not having the pain so i can be talking with you right now and all of a sudden psh, I, I, I will miscarry for for no reason you know so to me when when i was pregnant the last time that we were able to have a baby i have to lay down so that is when you get to know that you have to speak to a doctor to me god being so good that is why i love being on youtube i just like being here to share anything i know you know sometimes there are certain things that you think mm, this this that this that doesn't do nothing but hey it's major it's important for somebody 
very very important the video i saw on youtube when uh, when i needed all the stuff you know that video saved my life that video saved my life because i thought uh, uh we have done all uh, the pcos stuff i have put it under control i've done all that i have to do but still i was miscarried so what what was going on at all you know not knowing my service was weak but i didn't know nothing about it thank god i found the video and my doctor the last doctor I was talking to you about in uh, in one of my uh, immediate videos those videos his name is dr sam chantelise uh, at dallas a fertility specialist he was the one that tried everything he could for me and then nothing was working so he told us that he's going to allow us to try this procedure and hallelujah praise god this procedure worked by grace it worked so i this encourages me and I, I and i want to encourage anybody that want to be on youtube you know hey come on whatever you think you have to share please do do not keep it because whatever you say hey, someday we'll all die and whatever is in you you've kept it and died with it is, is it is it is it good no if only you know you want to do it or if only you know you want to share something please do because i don't know whether i can put the anybody's video link below but that video saved my life about three or four women shared their story and it helped me along the way and i pray this 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 moment that whatever information that is hidden especially in america if you don't get information oh trust me oh the the, the least thing you miss it you miss out you know i pray that whatever information that is hidden to your solution to something you are looking for oh may the spirit of god release it so you will be free and be free indeed through jesus christ how is this procedure done how is this procedure done uh, it's through laparoscopic uh, method. I did the laparoscopic. So some incisions are done on your tummy and I was asleep. So I didn't see what went, went on. I would have told you. And we have about three types of uh, cyclage, three or four. Well, I know about the cervical cyclage, which is put right uh, in, uh, uh, around the cervix right there. And I know of the uh, Shakur something, the name I'll put it on the screen. And we have the McDonald too, it's there. And we have the trans abdominal cyclage. That is the last one. So it's put very high on your cervix. Very, very high around your cervix, you know. So it holds the baby tight till the time you give birth. And trust me, when i when i was researching they said it's the effectiveness of this surgery or the tack or transabdominal cyclage is about 95 to 98 percent safe and I, I know we can testify you know by the grace of god it was safe for us it was safe for us um when i was researching at first they said yeah, you can have this surgery from uh, I think, is it eight weeks? But hey, not knowing, you can even do it. You can even do it before pregnancy. You can do the procedure. That is what I did. You can do the procedure before you try even again to get pregnant. I was so scared. You know, because me, for, for me, when I get pregnant, I find out, oh, when I find out I'm pregnant, maybe, or we are pregnant from the uh from first four uh from the uh, four weeks to eight weeks who i start miscarrying you know i start miscarrying so it, I, I was like so how am i going to do this if they have to do it after eight weeks i don't even get to the eight weeks how am i going to do it but by grace by grace we found out that it can be done it can be done 
through it can be done before getting pregnant and the day i found out that this thing can be done oh my goodness <laughs> that was it that was it my last stop that was it our last stop and trust me it saved our life that was when we were able to give birth to our baby boy we will talk more about this procedure all my experiences things that i did you know after surgery all that we'll talk about it more thank you all for being here and see you here next week on the same channel uh, please please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet and if you like my content please do share to anybody that you think it to it to be of good help and um and and leave a comment let's chat if you are, if you have done gone through that procedure what happened and share if you want to share your experience please you are welcome and please hit the notification bell so whenever i upload you will not miss it and i'll not miss you thank you all for being here stay blessed and have a blessed week <music>